Today's video from Sam Forrester, we're going to demonstrate how to program a credit card payment button on the NR510R register. So the machine kind of has the function as standard, but it just has a strange description for it. Um, it's like an American description, so it's charge. Um, you're charging it to the card is where it comes from. Um, so you can enter a sale, £10 into your sales PLU, subtotal, you've got the option for a cash payment, check payment or then this charge function um, so the charge works perfectly fine um, it says charge one on the display and it says charge one on your receipt as well and then when you do either an x or z report financial report there's a couple of references to it on the report so you have charge one sales and then charge in draw as well um, so any programming you do to the button, it's, it's a nicety really, the function works as long as you understand what charge refers to. But I'm, if you want to change it to card or credit card, I'll show you how to do it. There's a couple of steps. First of all, you have to reprogram the button description. And then secondly, you have to edit um, those descriptions that I've just shown you on the X and Z reports. Uh, so you will need the metal key marked P because we're going into the programming mode. Once you've got that in, you go to program mode and you're looking for function key so you highlight function key and press cash to enter and then cash again to go into function key programming all you need to do now is press the charge button and it comes up with all the default settings for that button we're not going to edit or mess around with any of the other settings other than the description which is the default setting so you press cash to enter and then you can type in your description um, using the same buttons you would have done to edit your PLUs or maybe your receipt header message. Okay, credit card. Once you're happy with your description, cash 10 to save. We press clear to escape out of there, clear again, clear again to get back to the main program mode. So that programming has changed the button description, so that's what would appear on the screen and the till receipt. But we also need to change how it appears in the um, end of day report. So you go into messages, financial report, and you look into any reference to charge one sales. Again, you don't have to change this, but it just makes it a bit easier um, to, to understand what everything is on your report. If you change the button to card, and then you have to look for um, charge sales, it seems a bit com unnecessarily complicated. So there's our first reference to it, CH. G1 in draw because it's referring to the charge one button. So when you found the description you want to edit, you press cash 10 to go into, and I'm just going to change it to credit card C R E D I T. Space is over here. C A R D. Again, that's normal. In the programming mode, cash tend is effectively an enter or save button. So we'll change that one line of the description. The one thing I would say, when you're in financial report editing, you've got to be really careful um, not to change things incorrectly because it can make a right mess of your report. So you see, we've got our second reference to it. Line 56 is charge sales. So one is charging draw, how much money you've actually had in the draw or taken by the card and then the other one is referring to the overall sales you need to change them both to avoid any confusion what I would do is I would keep um, the say you don't want them to say exactly the same thing so I probably should have changed the first one to say card in draw and this one I'll change to say card sales where are we C A R D space S a L E S card sales. We'll save that. We'll just that's the they're the only two references to charge one. So 
if we go back to the one I incorrectly reprogrammed, I think it was about line 56. Line 48, credit card. So I'll change that to say card, say card in draw. Again, cache to save, clear to come out of there until you get back to the main program mode. Then we can turn the key back to the reg position. And if we do the same £10 sale through our sales department, press the charge button again, we get the description credit card appear on the screen and the credit card description appear on the till receipt. We also just run a quick X report financial. I'm looking basically to see if I've missed anything out. So if we ever take a look at that report now, we've got cash in draw, charge in draw. So you could edit the description so it matches the cash in draw. So maybe with the dashes in there, um, and then you've got your card sales to match the cash cash sales above. Okay, so it's not something you have to do, but it's just a. I guess we're anglicising the word because I think charge is an American term. Um, we referred to them as cards so it's a card payment you don't have to do it but it, it is possible to do it as long as you understand you've got to change uh, multiple things okay i hope that video has been helpful we've got plenty of other videos showing you how to get the best out of the nr 500 series some of those videos will be appearing on screen now so you're welcome to check those out you can also subscribe to this youtube channel or visit samforushelp.co.uk for more thanks for watching